Alright guys, welcome back. So I'm about to show y'all my version of Jamaican steamed fish with my bad sauce. Is it? So I'm gonna get it started. This is my version, my way to do it. Might be different from your way how you do it. So welcome to my kitchen. Hey, so come see the fish. This is in Jamaica, this is how we if you don't want no vinegar, you wanna cut the rawness off of the fish. Put some lemon, squeeze it up in there. Lemon and lime is very powerful. Cut any rawness. So while that's there cooling off, we're gonna cut up the veggies right now so we could make the sauce. So guys, um, we have here the green peppers and the onion. Our, everything already pre-washed. We washed it while we wasn't videoing. So I'm gonna cut them up now and you know, organize everything. The onions are a very important ingredient in these kind of Jamaican dishes for it to taste authentic. You cut up your onion how you want, but I cut it up like this. I normally like to get it small enough diced up. Some people just make one big cut. But I like mine diced up. Semi-professional way. Chef Boyardi. AKA Sean himself, AKA Sean Bobby Six, AKA Don't Play. So if, if you see my eyes get red, it's the onion. No matter how me do this, me can't get used to it. Me I always uh, burn me. These parts are a little bit. Okay guys, um, this is green onion. We call it skellion in Jamaica. I cut it up. This is very important also. All the natural flavors is what makes Jamaican food nice. Watch that we drop on the ground. So my figure up. Okay, so I cut up my skellion, aka green onion. And now I'm just gonna put it with the onion. No, it's a food most tastes good because all these natural ingredients are with it. Yeah. Okay, guys, here is the green pepper, aka bell pepper. I'm gonna cut them up real quick. So um, I'm about to season up the fish and I'm gonna remove the lemons. Then the season will begin. So guys, I'm using this. Maggie. Don't know Maggie if you involved in it. And a little bit of this, you know. Yeah, we gotta get the maggi all up in it. Here we go. Inside too. This is next. Oh, I'm not 
other side yeah Well seasoned, last one now. Yeah, blue mountain chicken seasoning. Not because of fish, to still add to it. I like the flavor of that seasoning. It's one of my favorites. So, yeah. All rubbed in, all rubbed in, well seasoned up. Swim is ready for the road. Extra virgin olive oil. You gotta do everything healthy. That's the only way to do it. So we add in. Not that much oil, olive oil by the way. So guys and girls, we're gonna add the, um, the veggies, the onion and scallion and the green pepper. Uh, I also added scotch bonnet pepper to it. You guys didn't see that part. That, but we're gonna add that at a later date. We are work with this right now, so. Like this. You want to make that cook down a little bit till it gets warm, um, soft. Then we go to the next step. Stir a little bit, you know, make sure everything get the simmer down that's needed. If there's big pieces in it that wasn't really cut up, cut them up smaller, break them up, break them apart. And so simple. So here we have the bombing. We're gonna cut it, cut it into pieces. So this is the bami all cut up already. It's gonna end up in there, but yeah, I don't time yet. That's the bami. See you over with the video. Tell me when the video starts. Okay guys, I'm adding this to it. Cock soup, great cock soup. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but what I do is I, I don't want the noodles in it, the noodles add extra calories. What me no want? I'm not trying to put on no extra pounds. So I just sieve it out. It's the way to get the seasoning without the noodles in that no carbs I don't know nothing if a couple of these noodles go in there still in our car you know they got wrong but I don't want all of it these little pieces are really lit I add them to it too don't ask me what they are, but it makes whatever you cook with um, Grace Cock Soup taste real good. 
I'm assuming it's, it's dried veggies and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's it. You got that. So guys, um, what I do is add a little bit of water to the veggies that were being cooked up. Yeah, that's the beginning of the sauce. This is the beginning of the wicked sauce. Now let that simmer for a little bit longer. Yeah. Another ingredient, guys. This. This is, I guess, this is the closest you could get to having real coconut here in america so i mean you could go get real coconut from a korean store but when i try ox out the coconut and none of that right now so i'm using this this right here but i'm not using all of it i'll just add a piece of it to that to give it body and make it richer coconut so guys yeah we're gonna add these in into the flavor pot right now. Yeah, four piece. Take me if you need this. Yeah, add them in and simmer down. So guys, I here I have um corn that I cut up and they're gonna be added. They're gonna be added to the pot. There you go, you see, we added the okra to the mix, added the okra, you know fish don't take long to um, get a piece more, I added a piece more coconut, whatever you call it, coconut milk to it, that's gonna melt on. So basically this, well, it, it really is like a soup. That you're gonna put the fish in last and the fish gonna steam with the sauce it's all about the sauce if you don't get the sauce right you can forget about it forget about everything else if you're not gonna get the sauce right so guys here's an update all those juices and stuff all the juices and the flavors and everything soak into the fish it, all you gotta do is just steam you buy me there people i might i might 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 put some water crackers in it because you know it's a tradition jamaican tradition to eat this with water crackers even though you have bami and corn and everything else with it just put the water crackers in the pot make it cook down get soft and nice it tastes good. It's soaked with all the flavor. So, here is the end product. The bami is right there. The water crackers, the corn, the fish. It, it's gonna taste real good. I can't wait to chow down. Finished product. Right there. So guys, so guys, that's the end of it. See the end product. Thanks for watching. Chef Sean himself. It was a joy cooking for y'all.